the back. Get in. Yep. Yeah. Hey. 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 Michael, tell me what you're preparing today. Um, just a just a very simple locust with za'atar and honey, maybe drizzled with olive oil and a, and a side salad. One one thing recommended cooking them whole, and the other one recommended um, twisting the head off and pulling the viscera out and taking the legs off before cooking them. Twist the head and the um, nasty bit. And I guess it's, yeah, no, that's come out. That's the viscera has come out. I looked at the recipe today. It said don't pull off the um, the jumping legs. Should I just do that? I mean, should I pull? Should I pull the heads off or just snap? I mean, do, do you want to eat the wings? Someone said they thought the legs, the, the big legs, were quite. Um, they said they were quite plump and meaty, a bit like. Um, meaty. I wouldn't quite go that far. So what should we? They're big. Uh, yeah, but it's that size of Yemenite spice. So that sounds like an appropriate thing for a Yemenite food. Oh, I know. My intention is to roll them in this on the plate. Oh, and then fry. Yeah, and then fry them. Not much to it, is there? It's not very much of a dinner. But uh, no, I don't think it'd be very filling. We'll have some well, honey on first, and then the zatar. Yeah, because yes. No, I'd say now roll the locusts in it, and then and then, and then they'll be so then the zatar will stick to it. Try one. I love the way we all become expert locust cooks. <laughs> well, the last time I cooked well, one, I left it to marinade overnight, actually. <laughs> right, so let's try yeah, one. That's funny. Is the oil hot? Yeah. So what? What is this? This is uh, a like tasty. Oh, whatever. We'll find out. I think it needs to. Oh, now they look really revolting. They do, don't they? They look well, tasty. It's definitely smushy. I, when I phone the people, I said it's very important. They said, no, it's the same varieties. I said, no, I only want this just a Sacara gregaria. So what she said, well, why do you, what, what difference does it make? I said, I'm, I'm doing some scientific research and I need to, it's got to be exactly the right variety. Mmm, it actually smells pretty good. Yeah, but that's because you're smelling the, the oil and that yeah. oil. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that tiny one, ten, that's right. And there were 12 in the end in the packet. One was dead and one got mushed in the process. That actually, this one looks quite nice. This one looks like it's been in a while. Yeah, that, that was the first one. more crunchy, so I know. So there was a Mishnah which discussed what broccoli you should sell the locust. This so the Mishnah says here you know, in, uh, in the sixth chapter of Brochus, Al Dovashe in Gidulamina Oretz, on something which is not grown from the ground. Om shakal, the broccoli you said was shakal before you eat it. And it, so he gives a list, ala chonets, vinegar, ala novlois, um, which are um, unripe fruits, va al ha govoi, and govoi... Govoi sounds like the right one. Govoi um, is understood to be, govoi is the, um, is the Mishnai Hebrew for a locust. So ala govoi, om shakal, say shakal, I'll get a burning. Burnt locust. It might have made crunchy. Hey, no. Isn't that remarkable that the Mishnah discusses what brocha to say when you eat a locust? It's quite clear that in earlier Jewish societies, these were normal foods. Or well, certainly commonly eaten enough that there are proper discussions about them. They're a good source of protein, aren't they? Low fat. Well, I think also a low cost. Right, so let's now... Can we put any garnish on them? Yeah, so that it was... There might be some parsley in the fridge if you want. Don't have a little parsley. Lemon, lemon. Actually, a bit of lemon juice over there. Might be nice. Are you looking forward to trying locusts with Michael? Now, it's the crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to eat a kosher locust. <laughs> Enjoy. Mm.
Mmm. That's really quite tasty. <laughs> it could be the new outer link he sprinkled soon. <laughs> yes, the legs nice. aren't bad either. No? No, no nice oh, and crispy. God. I'm sure I call you the boy right. Man. Man. Yeah, it changes the flavour. Yeah. Well, it doesn't just change the mm. flavour, it, it, it burns, burns at a lower burns. temperature. Yeah. Well, whatever. In the Yemen, they used to roll them in honey, put them around a dish with a little bit of harissa, and then serve it with, um, with chili vodka made in Russia. Mm.